Okay, guys, guess where I am? I'll give you a clue. I've been going on about it for forever. Oh, yes, here we are at the Horse Trust. And today I'm going to get a chance to meet some horses, which I've been dying to do for ages. And Catherine says maybe, just maybe, I'll get a chance to actually see how to groom a pony. Coco. Okay. Oh, hello, are you Catherine? I am. Oh, it's great to hello, meet you. and this is Sean. Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you. Thank you for volunteering to come along, come along and help us out oh, today. Right. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, we've got a very special pony that we think you might like to meet. Do you want oh, to come with us? Yeah, definitely. Come okay. on. So, Coco, you were telling me about your horse, Caramel, yeah. and she reminds me a little bit of Vienna. Yeah, they look really similar. She's gorgeous. Vienna's not an Exmoor pony like Caramel, but she's quite similar. She's got the same mealy markings on her face. Oh. So, what type of pony is Vienna here? Vienna's a halflinger, so she's from Austria originally. Oh, I see, so she's come quite a long way, maybe. She has, and she's got quite a similar story to Caramel. So, what, so tell me a bit about Vienna, like, what is her story then? She's 17 years old, and she arrived with us in 2010 after being rescued by the RSPCA. Wow, so what was she rescued from? Like, She was found abandoned in a field and she had a nasty cut on her face. She was covered in rain school, which meant she had scabs all over her back and she was very, very underweight. Oh, I see, but she looks, she's gorgeous now, as you can see. But, so. She's made a wonderful recovery. Yeah, well, it's great that you managed to find so many new homes for these horses here. Especially Vienna, she's beautiful. And now, Sean is just about to groom Vienna, so Hello. would you like Hello. to, nice to help meet you. her out? So I you actually can, um, love that. <laughs> learn how to groom caramel. Fabulous, that'd be so cool. No problem. So what we're going to start with, I've got my tools here. So what's, what's this brush? This is called a rubber curry comb, so if you try and bend it, it's all made rubber. of rubber and very flexible. So what we use this brush for is just getting rid of dirt and lots of loose hair. Yeah. So as you can see, she's really, she's really hairy. <laughs> so if you start That's at the top here on her neck, yep, and just okay, all and over, just like yep, as hard as you like, just get all of that stuff out. Can you see it all there? It's all coming yeah. off. Oh yeah. So all the way so along, that bit. Make it nice and shiny then. Oh, Vienna will be enjoying this. They <laughs> like being groomed. <laughs> This is a body brush, so we use it after this one, so you're basically trying okay. to get rid of the biggest bits first, so you get rid of yeah. all the dirt and all the mud first, and then this will start getting rid of all the little hairs that you've got left. Yeah, you have, I see. So oh, okay. if I follow behind you with cool. your... So this will make her nice and shiny then. Yeah, you can already see she's starting <laughs> yeah. to look a bit shinier. Oh. So probably the only place you wouldn't use your brush is just on her legs. Yeah. Just because See, that it's might a, be a bit harder. Yeah, because she's got quite bony legs. Uh, Vienna's got a friend called Grace, who Aww. weirdly enough looks quite a lot like her. <laughs> same sort of colour, same sort of size. But horses do tend to do that, yeah. which is rather strange, really. Oh, it's nice that they all, you know, they make all their friends like us yeah. as well. That's and then they'll be animal. friends in a big group as well. So. Yeah. Good girl. So, so Normally, we would use this brush on a horse. The only reason we're not going to use it on Vienna today mm -hmm. is because she lives outside all year round, and this brush will take out all the grease out of her coat, which oh, helps to keep her warm. But what we can use it on is on her mane and on her tail. If you use yeah, any she does other have sort, very beautiful mane. she yeah. has. It's so cool. It's so smooth and shiny. She's like L'Oreal. Wish I had hair. <laughs> yeah, me too. But if you use any other sort of brush on their mane or tail, it'll just break all the hairs off and mm. it'll all start falling out. So, I bring some of her mane over here if it'll behave. She just there we go. go for it. So why doesn't she live inside like some of the other horses? Well, here? most of the horses do live outside just because that's what's most natural yeah. for them. So they're very good at coping outside in all weathers, even when it snows, rains, everything like that. They've got shelter out there, so there's somewhere to go if the weather does get really nasty. But it's just more natural for them than standing in a yeah. stable. So and she suits living outside very well. She's very good at keeping good weight girl. on and everything like that. So despite having been very underweight back in the day when we first had her, she's quite happily carries on as she so is in the field. How long have you had her here now? Uh, she's been here about three years now, I think. Oh, okay, cool. So might be a bit longer than that, but yeah, quite a while. She did have another home for a while. She was out on loan to a lady who had her as a companion for another horse. But no, she's very good Beautiful. at being a friend to other horses. Yeah, she's very good at being a friend to us as well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Sean, and thank you very much, Vienna, for letting me groom you. No problem. I'm sure wonderful. Vienna enjoyed it and was very grateful. I so. enjoyed it too. <laughs> so plus side to being a human, showering is way quicker.